Hi everyone, it's Mary from Studio Us again, and we're bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a really sweet basset hound, just like the one I used to have growing up. And as always, we're going to be using a pencil, a Sharpie, and an eraser. I'm going to be coloring this basset hound with colored pencils, but obviously use the materials that you have. As always, I have my drawing paper ready to go, and I marked the center of my page as a sort of guide. I went ahead and I drew our first two steps, so let me walk you through them. For our first step, we're going to draw a nice uh, big circle at the top half of our page. There's not a lot of space from the top of that circle to the top of our uh, paper, and it uh, the bottom of that circle comes almost all the way down to the center of our page. So I went ahead and I marked the top. There's a slight little bump at the top. I marked the bottom, again, almost close to that middle, and the two sides. I gave myself some dotted lines and drew it in. For this second step, the first thing I did was mark where it overlaps that first shape we made. Marks at the, uh, or it overlaps at these two points, excuse me. And I gave myself uh, some dotted lines to get that first shape where it overlaps, right? Then I went ahead and I marked how far down that shape is going to come. And I marked those outside edges as well. It's kind of like a long oval. Once you give yourself some lines, go ahead and draw that in. And let's keep going. So for this next step, we're going to start adding the outside of our Basset Hound. So these lines are really wavy, they're really wrinkly, uh, and there are a few little points to indicate some hair. So I'll show you what I mean. On the left side, it looks like uh, this line's going to start right about here. It's gonna come off of that first shape we made just a little before it comes up to a little point. That's uh, a little indication of fur or hair. The line's going to come down, it's going to come up and back down again. And then over by uh, the left hand side, we have another little bit of fur, again coming up and then uh, back down before coming off the page right about here. Very good. Next we have a line that looks like it's going to start right about here. And it looks like it's going to meet our second shape right about here. So I'm going to give myself some dotted lines because this one's extra curvy. It's going to come out and then back in before coming down and a little wavy and down like that. So once I know that line's correct, I can go ahead and draw it in. Perfect. And that same line is going to continue. It's going to meet right about here before coming down and off the page right about here. So this line looks like it's going to come straight down before curving in and off like that. And draw that in. Perfect. All right, up next we're gonna draw some more lines. These are going to form uh, the long ears, those long droopy ears of our Basset Hound. So I see, um, I'm going to draw this line first uh, that we see here. This line looks like it's going to start right about here. It's not too far from that second bit of uh, hair that we see. And it looks like it's gonna come out slightly before coming in. Again, it's pretty uh, wavy and wrinkly. So make sure you get those waves in. And it looks like it's gonna uh, come off the page right about here. And then uh, the other line that's going to form the other side of the ear looks like it's going to start right about here. Uh, and it's going to come down and overlap that shape here before coming down and out just a little and back in and out to about right here. Perfect, go ahead and draw that in. Excellent. And then finally, don't forget this line right here. Uh, it looks like it's going to start right about here and it's gonna come in slightly before coming back out and around like that. Go ahead and draw that in. Excellent. Clean up any lines you need to. I think I'm going to make this part of the ear come out just a little further. I think I messed that up just a bit.
All right, up next, we are going to start drawing the lines that will form more of the wrinkles uh, and uh, eyebrows of our Basset Hound's face. It's gonna be really cute. So first we have um, a line up here and it's going to connect to this uh, outer line that we already made. And it's going to come up um, and there are some, some uh, lines or points that indicate fur. I'm gonna get those in a minute but I wanna mark where I think it's going to come down to a point. And I think it's right about here. And then I know it's going to come back this way. So I'm just doing that first, just uh, as a sort of guide. But the line is going to come in from uh, the side of, um, or the right side of our basset hound. And we have two little points of hair before it comes down to that point I just made. I'm gonna round that out a little bit more actually. Perfect. And then um, before I get to this line over here, I'm going to mark really quickly where it's going to overlap this part of our face. And it looks like it's gonna overlap right about here. And it looks like it's going to come down all the way to about here. So let's go ahead and get this part in. Uh, the line is going to come up before uh, making a little point for some fur. And then going back up again for another point. One more over here. And then it's going to come down and then back out to a point right about here before coming down and off of the face. Uh, and let me make this line out a little more actually. And then that line is going to come downwards before getting really close to that ear. Gets really thin and come back out and down into that point. Perfect, and now that we know that it's down uh, at this point, the line's going to come back up slightly, curve in, and back out and then up and it's going to hit our ear right here. Uh, before we move forward, I'm gonna round this out a little bit more. I made those points a little too dramatic. So we can clean that up really quickly. It's not a problem. All right, in this next step, we're going to do a lot of erasing. So go very slowly, pay close attention. We're going to erase the entire inside of this uh, shape here. And then we're going to get rid of that uh, first shape we made, right, that circle right there. So go ahead and get rid of those lines now. All right, very good. Up next, we're going to add um, our Basset Hound's nose, followed by some tufts of fur uh, on the chest and over to the side. So first let's go ahead and draw in that nose. It looks like it's going to be right about here. And it's a nice uh, big rectangle that comes almost all the way over to that edge right there. So pay close attention to that. That looks good to me. I'm gonna draw that in. Very cute. And then we can go ahead and draw this little uh, bit of fur right here. It's going to start right here before it comes down and up into a little uh, point for fur. And then down to a point right about here before coming back up and creating some more little lines of fur and then coming back in to our uh, ear. Very good. And then we have one line over here that's going to start right about here and come over and in, over and in and out off the page, just like that. <clears throat> All right, so up next, we're going to extend the nose a little bit. Uh, it looks like this shape here is going to start right about here 
and come almost all the way over to that side there. And it's going to come down and around like this. It's nice and rounded. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. And I see, I see a line uh, right about here that's going to just loop around, right? That's going to indicate um, one of the nostrils. And same thing over here. Uh, I see a small little hook uh, pointing the other direction for the right nostril. And then we have a line that's going to be at the bottom of our nose, right? Right uh, in the center there, or slightly off to the side, actually, the left side. And this line is going to come down and over and down like that. That's one of uh, the dog's uh, sort of cheeks, right? His lips. So I'm gonna draw that in. And there is another line that's going to start right about here and come down and around and up like this and over to the side. Very good, and don't forget this small little line right here, uh, almost over uh, to our first line indicating the lip towards the left. There's just a little small triangle down there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and erase the uh, right side of our face so that all we have left is the lip and this bottom part of the mouth uh, forming that shape. All right, this looks great, let's keep going. We are going to put a line down the center of the nose and it's going to curve or bend slightly to the right. So, looks like the line will start right about here before curving, just like that, perfect. And now we're going to add um, another line that is going to extend from the eye when we draw that. So let's go ahead and draw that eye first. It looks like it's going to start right about here. So I'm just giving myself a, a light dotted line to sort of um, give me an idea where I want that eyeball to be, right? These eyes are kind of a funny shape, so I wanna make sure that I get the, the spacing as accurate as possible. So for this first eye, the line is going to come up and over and down and around just like this. And that eye is going to come around like that before uh, turning into a line that'll come over like this. So let me clean that up a little bit and walk you through it one more time. Because this is a little tricky. I'm uh, making it work as I go as well. So I'm gonna take a line and I'm going to draw it over uh, onto the outside of our snout. So that way, this edge over here, this line, is part of the ear, right? That's on the other side of our Basset Hound's face. So I have that line. This line is going to come in contact with the line for our eye. So I'm going to draw a line over from right here, over to this point. And this eye is going to have two little uh, bits of fur or little points coming down before coming back over and around like that. And then we have another eye over here. Again, I just gave myself some dotted lines uh, to get that placement and that shape kind of in. And over here, I'm gonna start uh, with the line on the left. This line is going to come up and over before coming back up. And come down again. And we have a line coming out from the uh, right point of the eye or the right corner. And this line's going to come down and over just like that. So I'm gonna just give myself a dotted line. And from that point, 
the eye is going to round out, come down and around before coming in and over like that. Perfect. So go ahead and clean things up. All right, so up next, we're going to add two little pupils inside of our eyes. There's a pupil right about here that's going to come over to here. It almost hits that edge. So this eye is going to come up and over like this. Go ahead and draw it in. And one more over here, around and up like that. Very good. As always, as you go along, make sure your eyes match for the most part, right? Eyes are a little bit different, but for the most part, we want them to be um, pretty similar, pretty accurate. All right, and then we have a line that's starting right about here. And it's going to split. It's going to come down and come over like this um, before coming up to a point and back down and over like that. And then on the left-hand side, it's going to come down and up to a point, down, up to one more point before coming down and out and over and back in like that. So it's a little tricky to take it one side at a time. I can walk you through it one more time. So get that first uh, middle line in, bring it down just a little. And when you come off to the right hand side, you're gonna come down and up to a little point before coming down and over to the right side of our basset. And then when you're going down the left, we have a little point for fur. One more before coming down and over and back around like this. And actually this bottom point here, should almost uh, meet our ear. So let's clean that up. All right, we're going to add one more circle inside of the eyes, this time even smaller. Just like that. And one more. Just like that, very good. And don't forget, we have a line uh, that's going to come around and down our ear, just for some more detail. So it's gonna start right about here and it's going to come up to a point before coming down to another point and then looping around. And then the line's going to come down and out and back in and down and around like that. So go ahead, go nice and slow. Give yourself some dotted lines if you need to. Very good, just like that. I'm gonna clean up that line just a little. Very good. And finally, we are going to add just a few little lines on our dog's face to indicate some wrinkles. So I see a little uh, bumpy line right above the uh, left hand eye, uh, left side eye, excuse me. And one more just like that, perfect. Don't forget there's a little uh, sort of wave right underneath the eye as well. And then we have two lines over on the right hand side. So I see one right here, and then one more, just like that, perfect. And I think that's all of our lines. So we finished drawing our Basset Hound. Go ahead and take your Sharpie, go over all of the lines that you've made, and then take your pearl eraser and you erase away any lines that are left. Go nice and slow, and then we can start coloring. All right, now that we've finished drawing our Basset Hound and going over our lines with Sharpie and Eraser, we can take our colored pencils and start coloring. 
I'm going to use a nice light blue and I'm going to fill in the background behind our dog first. I'm going to be applying a medium amount of pressure, so don't push too hard, but don't push too lightly. And once I fill in that background nice and evenly, we can start blocking in some of the colors on our Basset Hound. Let's get started. All right, perfect. So we finished coloring, uh, coloring in our background. It looks wonderful. And now we're ready to start uh, layering up some of the colors on our Basset Hound. So what I'm going to do first actually, is I am going to block in the light gray sections I see on the whitest parts of our Basset Hound. And I'm doing that just so I know that those areas are going to stay white. Um, and so I don't color them later on. So this area right here around his nose is white and you'll see there are some uh, gray sort of splotches in this space uh, to indicate some value, indicate some fur. Uh, and I see a similar sort of uh, gray splotch here and here on the chest. So I'll show you what I mean. When you go to color these in, they're uh, not like a block of color per se, it's, it's fur, right? So I'm going to lightly color in that gray and I'm going to make the edges uh, rough or kind of uh, loose and jaggedy like this to indicate a nice shadow, but a shadow that uh, is meant to indicate some fur, right? Some detailing on a dog. So when you color in, try to keep it nice and loose and fluid like that. Um, and that also includes some uh, stray sort of lines uh, and rough edges to represent some of that fur. Go ahead and block in those areas now. All right, very good. Now that we have those uh, sort of gray areas blocked in, I'm going to take the same gray and I'm going to push a little harder. And if you can see, there are some uh, darker gray lines just to indicate a little bit of detail in those sort of gray splotches on the nose. So I'll show you what I mean. I see some uh, gray lines like this kind of coming down the snout. Uh, just indicating um, some detailing there. And I see it around the nose especially, so I'm just pushing a little harder, just getting those lines in. Um, but you don't have to do all of them, just a little touch to, to sort of get that detailing in. And you're gonna do that in each of these little sections, just a slight touch and you'll push a little bit harder. Go ahead and do that. All right, very good. Let's keep going. Next, I'm going to color in this area on his face. And I'm going to start with this really light uh, tan color and I'm going to color in everything I see there. Then we can take a slightly darker tan color and start building up those shadows on top of it. All right, perfect. Now that I've blocked in that uh, lighter beige color, I can go ahead and start uh, layering some of this uh, darker tan on top. I wanna make sure that I keep those lightest bits of tan or beige, excuse me, as a highlight. And I see those highlights um, right up here, sort of along the brow, and then down by the snout. There are those uh, bands of lightest uh, color. So try to leave those there. I'm going to lightly uh, draw a line where I see those to make sure that I don't 
uh, color over them. And uh, go ahead and you're going to layer on top of this and you're going to apply a little amount of pressure when you just want a light shade of that uh, tan-ish brown. And you're gonna push a little darker for those extra dark uh, shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in uh, those darker areas now on top of it before pushing a little harder to get some of those shadows. All right, and now that I've done that, I'm uh, gonna take a brown and I'm gonna layer on those darkest shadows on top. You'll have to forgive me, I'm in my kitchen right now and the lighting is not great. This is much tanner than it is yellow. I know the lighting is a little off. Excuse me, so do your best. Again, uh, we want those lighter areas, but now I'm gonna take a little bit of brown and I'm gonna uh, get those shadows on this part of the face. All right, and now that we've layered in those shadows, we're ready to start coloring in the other areas of our basset hound. This is so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this same brown and I'm going to fill in both ears and this little tuft of fur here on the chest, those lighter browns. Um, the back and the top of the head are a little bit darker, a lot more like a dark brown and black. So we'll get to those afterwards. But I'm gonna take this brown and I'm going to layer in, um, or excuse me, do a thin layer of this brown first before building on top of it. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, excellent. Now that we've blocked in those lighter browns, I'm going to take a sort of reddish brown and I am going to block in those sort of reddish brown areas that I see on top. And I see these primarily along the lines that we have here in the ears and along the outside edge. So just start blocking up some of those colors. And again, keep it nice and loose. Perfect, that looks great. And finally, I'm gonna take the same brown that I used beforehand, and I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure and get those darkest areas in that I see. Then we can go ahead and move on to the rest of our dog. Let's get to it. All right, very good. Our dog looks wonderful so far. Now let's go ahead and start blocking in these darker browns um, up here and on his back. I see those same uh, dark areas uh, in the lowest part of his eyes as well. So again, I'm going to take a very dark brown, do a thin layer before then uh, building on top of it. So let's get to it. All right, now that I've blocked those areas in, I'm going to push a little bit harder and I'm going to fill in the darker shadows that I see. All right, very good. And last on the fur, I'm going to take a black and I'm going to push a little lightly, uh, but I'm gonna fill in those darkest areas that I see.
All right, very good. Now let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the eyes and the nose. So for uh, the iris of our dog, I'm going to fill it in with this light tan first and then take our uh, slightly darker brown and put uh, those shadows on top of it. Very good, those shadows are right at the bottom of those eyes. And uh, let's get those pupils filled in. Now keep in mind there are uh, a few small uh, white circles or shapes on that pupil. So make sure that you draw those in before you actually fill it in. Uh, those white spots are going to be at the top and at the uh, side and bottom of your pupil. Again, block them in and then go ahead and fill in that part of the eye. Having those small white dots makes a world of difference. It makes the eyes look a lot more realistic. Finally, let's go ahead and color in our nose. Uh, there is a slight white highlight um, and I'm going to block that in first. Uh, I see a few of them actually, and I'm gonna block those in by drawing those shapes before I actually fill in the rest with my gray. Very good. And then I am going to take my black colored pencil and I'm going to add a few shadows on that nose. Don't forget, Fill in the nostrils as well. Those are going to be black. Perfect. And finally, if you want to, and if you have a thin Sharpie, you can go ahead and use a thin Sharpie to color um, or draw in the little whiskers that you see. I see two up here by his eyebrows. So I'm just gonna draw one, just right off the page, and two. And I see them on the left side as well by the upper eyebrow or wrinkle. One and two. And then I see some down here by his cheeks. One, two, three. And finally, one, two. All right, now that we've blocked those in, we finished our picture. Thanks so much for tuning in and check in with us later for more projects that you can do at home. Stay safe.